Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows, and in this video I'm going to be covering part 5 of the affiliate marketing for beginners case study, and this step is to start the campaign creation process using Bing Ads, aka Microsoft Advertising. But before we do that, I'm going to quickly cover how to find a coupon and how to sign up, and then we'll go and go into the first step of four when you're creating Bing Ads campaigns for affiliate marketing offers. So the first thing we're gonna do is find a coupon code and I was actually able to find one today just by doing a simple search. So I will show you what I did. Um, I typed in Microsoft Advertising Coupon and then I clicked on this link originally and uh, I was doing some reading, I didn't really find anything. And then the second search result was from re, uh, retailmenot.com. I opened that up. You can see right away, right here, $100 in search ads when you spend 25 in Microsoft advertising. So that is a great deal. So I, all I did was I clicked on uh, get deal and it brought me to this website. Want to grow your business, we'll help you get there. Microsoft Advertising can connect you with millions of searchers not using Google. Get $100 in search advertising when you spend 25 in Microsoft Advertising. So that is a huge little boost if you're just starting out with Bing Ads to get $100 in free advertising. So I highly recommend if you don't have a Bing Ads or Microsoft Advertising account, um, go through Retail Me Not if it's still available because at the time that you're watching this, this uh, coupon might not be available, but that is how I found it. So that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's how easy it is, is just type in Microsoft Advertising Coupon and then just do some research and you'll, you should be able to find one pretty easily. So that was the coupon. And then next, uh, I'm gonna talk about how to sign up. Once you get your coupon, you'll come to a page like this and all you gotta do is click on sign up now and then type in your email, phone, or Skype, and then just click next, and then you'll just have to do a few more steps and you will be good to go. And then once you sign up, um, you'll be able to log into your Microsoft Advertising account and it will look like this. And then um, I'm going to cover how to do step one of the Bing Ads creation process, which is uh, getting your targeting ready. So right away, I'll click on campaigns, create a campaign, You'll have a bunch of uh, conversion goals that you can choose from, but I always start with visits to my website. And now I'll just enter in a campaign name for the uh, dog training ClickBank offer. So I just labeled it dog training ClickBank. For the individual budget, it has a default of $20 per day, but you can easily change that. I think I'm gonna start this out at $100 per day, just so I can try to get data as fast as possible. So location targeting, this is where you can um, choose which countries you want to include in the advertising campaign. So I'm gonna do um, top tier countries. So that's United States. And then I'll do Canada. And one thing to consider too is that sometimes on the ClickBank affiliate pages, um, they'll have a lot of information regarding what countries convert the best with what offer. So that's something to consider. Not all affiliate pages have it, but a lot do. Um, we'll go New Zealand, United Kingdom, Australia, and then lastly, Ireland. So those are the six top tier countries that I like to target. Um, and then this part right here is very important. Uh, who should see your ads? People in your targeted location. Um, and what this means is by selecting this option, your ads will appear for people who are physically in your targeted locations. And then this is a big difference from this next one, people searching for or viewing pages about your targeted location. So I'll read this too. By selecting this option, your ads will show to people outside of your area who search for or view web pages about your targeted location. So we don't want that. So basically what that is, is let's say someone in South Africa is looking up United States dog training, then our ad would show, but we don't want to target anyone there. We just want to do top tier countries. So that was just one example I could think of. So make sure to deselect that if you want. Um, language, English, so that is the first step. And as you can see, when you're creating the big ads campaigns, it's labeled out step one, campaign settings, 
the next uh, step which will be the next video is add groups and keywords um, the third one is ads and ad extensions and then the fourth one is budget and bids so I'm gonna do a separate video on each of these categories and just go in depth because I figured that would be the best way to structure this uh, case study in the next video we are going to be covering ad groups and keywords so that is it for this video and lastly if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel come on smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos and I will see you in the next video Peace.